Hi there. My name is Nora Scully. And today I'm very excited because I'm making a metal sculpture. And I want to explain about Terry Lean's sculpture. She asked for a little explanation in ASL. So I'm going to try my best today. So you'll see a picture here. And that is the wax sculpture. It's already done. We must prepare the sculpture for the metal pour. And I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. First, you've got to make a sprue system. That's kind of like a vent system. It allows the wax to be taken out of the mold and the metal to be poured into the mold. Secondly, we have to build up an outer thick shell <clears throat> that's hard and what are we where are we fourthly we have to burn all the wax out and fifth we pour in the metal so as you can see in this sculpture here that is the sprue system that's built up in the center there's a cup with a pole on it that's also made from wax entirely, and that will burn out in the end, and it will leave the hard shell. So the wax is there, and then the spruce system's all made, connected to the sculpture, you know, in all the right points. And it's not really attached to the face, it's attached to the back of the sculpture, as you can see in this picture here. Alrighty, when we're f finished building that spruce system, the next step is to dip into the liquid shell. You can see here, there's, this one's been dipped. So, that sculpture is pretty heavy. We had to use a hook at the top of the sculpture so we could bring it over to the liquid shell dip it into the shell, take it out, let it drip a little bit, and then bring it over to the sand area, spray, sprinkle sand on it, get it all in there, and that builds up layers. They have to be pretty thick. Each layer is a combination of liquid along with the sand, and they're alternated back and forth. For Terry Lean's sculpture, I think I did like 13 different levels, layers. So really, that thing was thick. So we've done the dipping, put on the sand, and then it's got to wait there. In between each dip, each individual dip, it's you got to wait two hours for it to dry. So when all is said and done, it's dry, we bring it over to be fired. And here you can see things coming out and going into the, the furnace. We have to take this cup and make sure that it's turned upside down so the wax can be burnt out of it. When that's all done, we're left with the shell and it'll be white instead of yellow. And here's an example. Okay, when that's all done, we do a little test on that mold with water. We pour the water in to see where there's holes. Wherever there's leakage, we then know we have to fill it with this special, whatever you call it, goo. Fill it up, and let's see. That process finished, we're ready for the metal pour. Again, you have to turn that cup up so it's pointing upward. This way, it can catch the metal when it pours into it. You know, for that metal is really hot. You know, how are we going to pour that into that cup? Really, it takes three people. There's a crucible that's in the center. It weighs about 25 pounds. Add to that metal, which is 90 pounds, melted, sits in the center. Two people, they use this equipment, tong. It's, got a, it's a pole with grabbers on it. And the two people pull up on it. Then the grabbers grab the crucible. Each person gives each other a look, they're ready to go and they pull up, and then they walk over to the sculpture. One person's the lead, 
they kind of give a look to the other person like they're ready and then they start pouring and the whole crucible pours over and the molten metal goes into that cup through the venting sprue system and then into the sculpture filling it. That is some hot molten metal. Actually, bronze. And then when it's all cool, it's finished, that shell is still there intact. We've got to break that off, take all the pieces off. Then with the metal sprue system that's still in place, we've got to remove that by cutting it off, grinding down those places, and then we have a sculpture. So we'll see, I hope on Monday, that we get this pour done and the metal goes in and we'll have a success. All right, we'll see.